All right, today we're checking out the uh, Dell Chromebook. This is an 11-inch Chromebook with a 1.4 gigahertz uh, Intel um, Celeron processor, dual core. Um, this one happens to be configured with four gigs of RAM. You can also get it with two gigs of RAM. Uh, the machine does have uh, the SD card slot on it. It's got uh, obviously the charging port, HDMI, which is an advantage to us over the uh, HP that we checked out last week, as well as a couple of uh, USB ports and a headphone jack. So the nice thing that you initially notice about this machine, it's got a little bit more heft to it than some of the other Chromebooks we've checked out, including the Samsung that we deployed last uh, year. Uh, it doesn't have a chunky feel. It's nice and sleek. Uh, along the lines of the Dell uh, Latitude 7000 series that they've recently uh, deployed. It has a fast boot time. Uh, the screen does have a uh, glass uh, protective finish over it and we're hoping that that's going to help minimize screen breakage uh, but it does provide a little bit of glare as you may see in the uh, video. So let me go ahead and log in here. Okay, so we're logged in and let's just go to YouTube here real quick and we'll bring up a video so we can check out the audio. Uh, this does have vents in the bottom, which I know last week when I was looking at the Acer, I didn't particularly like the vents, and the audio, the uh, speaker ports are here on each side, uh, but I, I believe that uh, this does have a little bit more of a rugged feel than the Acer did. Again, you do have the ability to get crumbs and so forth in there when you're issuing these to kids, so we'll just have to make them aware that that's something they shouldn't be doing. Um, not that that will prevent them. So let's just go ahead and uh, check out the audio here. Did you turn a four? Okay, that's just an ad, but how has Cub Cadet been an American original since 1961? By delivering. Okay. Yeah. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the old STX-38. This one's got the black deck on it. So you can see that the speakers work just fine. They're clear. They're, um, they're more than sufficient in terms of being able to hear the video um, or anything that you've got coming through the speakers. So um, we actually really like this uh, Chromebook compared to the HP and the um, um, Acer that we checked out last week. And we were kind of leaning towards the uh, HP initially, but uh, we're hoping that we'll have a minimal screen breakage with this uh, protective glass and this more rugged feel. Uh, we like that this actually has an HDMI port. Uh, we recognize that there is some expense for manufacturers to actually put HDMI but on their devices, but um, when, when manufacturers don't put HDMI on their device, they're putting the cost of a dongle of some sort of adapter onto the consumer uh, because almost everything uh, in today's uh, market in terms of TVs and projectors will have an HDMI port, so uh, that's really important to us. Uh, the keyboard is, again, is, is really nice. It's, it's not a chintzy little keyboard. It, um, it's not, I wouldn't say a full-size keyboard, but it's certainly not like a little netbook keyboard either. It's very comfortable uh, to type on and use. Um, the screen, while it does have the glass protective layer over it, it does offer some glare, so there is a drawback, and if you were viewing from angles, um, you could tend to uh, have some difficulty with regards to light reflection and so forth. So, uh, but overall, we really like this uh, this Dell Chromebook, and the price point is right on target for us. Uh, we received a quote from our Dell rep with the management console of just over three hundred dollars for the four gig model. So, uh, we're, that's right in line with with where we've been at really. Uh, when we bundled in the the uh, management console and the Samsungs, I think we were right at three eighty nine or, or thereabouts. So it's just a little bit more money for a better performance because it's got the Celeron as well as the four gigs of RAM and um, the lid itself does, uh, does appear to have a more rugged or rigid feel to it. So we're hoping that uh, screen breakage will be minimal compared to what we've experienced with the uh, Samsungs this year in our, in our recent deployment. So hopefully this video has been helpful. If you have an opportunity to check out this Dell uh, Chromebook, I would suggest doing so. You'd probably be pleasantly surprised. And uh, please leave questions and comments below. Thanks for watching.